Okay, session for this week is to help you with tricep tendinopathy. So if you're one of those people who's got pain on the top of the elbow in that tricep tendon from a tendinopathy, meaning a weakening of that tendon, then this rehab session's for you. We're gonna go through how to get that tendon stronger before you start doing tricep work and pressing work, but also some mobility work and some shoulder work, and it's probably the shoulder stuff that you need to pay attention to, because nine times out of 10, the shoulder is letting you down, and that's why you're getting some tricep work. And it might be that you've you know, got shoulder weakness or a movement dysfunction, or you're just doing an exercise, like say like a bench press, where you're not getting enough scapular work and you're loading the heck out of your tricep. So regardless, we're gonna go through that. First of all though, let's have a look at some isometric work. Now the isometric work is what you would do first up, so the acute phase, or maybe you've just made it sore and you wanna work on something to stop it getting weaker, or maybe you're too weak or too sore to do some concentric or harder stuff that I give you today, so you start off with the isometric stuff. There's two ways of doing that. I would do a mid-range and an inner range, which is when your elbow is extended. So when you're doing mid-range, rig up something like this. Now this could be a bar in the gym, or at home you could have something that's just a height that you need to push down. What I want you to do though is try and have that bar or whatever that platform is that you're pushing on, could be a wall, could be anything, at the height where your elbow is so you sort of are at 90 degrees you don't want it sort of down too low because you're not in that mid-range you want it in that position there and you don't want it certainly too high um, so when you're in this position what you can do is one or two things you can either just push down like that in a neutral type position or you can grab it and then keep that wrist secure and push down even harder if you want some more load make sure though when you're doing this your shoulder blade is not sort of stuck forward and you're trying to do this sort of thing you've got to look after that shoulder blade posture. So you sit in a neutral position, grab the bar, really fix that wrist, and then push down as hard as you can. You may have to actually switch on a bit of core and stabilize your body here, but you're trying to load up that tricep at the back. So you're trying to switch that on and you're trying to get to the point where you're just below pain. So you're not going into pain, so don't push so hard that you're into pain. And remember, that pressure there needs to be up to 30 seconds so the ability for you to hold it there for 30 seconds below pain is the key. So rep range, 30 seconds, try and do six of those in a set. You might do sort of two or three sets of that. And it's crucial that you sit that below pain, but the maximum drive you can do that can keep you there for 30 seconds. So don't go so hard that at 10 seconds you fail, you've got to get at the level that you can hold for 30 seconds. So You'll have to work that out over a period of time, but that's your mid-range. That's a really nice one to switch the muscle on, switch the tendon on, get some load in there without contracting that tendon or having the muscle pull on the tendon in the, say, a movement that you do later. So that would be your first one. Second thing is doing isometrics in an extended, or what we call inner range position for that tricep. So for that position, what you do is go to the floor. Now, this is a really good chance for you to work on your scapular pressing, which is some of you are probably not doing. And like I said, it may be the reason why you're getting a blowout of your tricep tendons is because you're not, when you press, your shoulder's sitting back in retraction and you're just doing this, you're not actually doing that movement. And that may be due to load or the type of exercise you're doing. Regardless, you can work on it now, which will help. And also the load bearing will also help the recovery of the tendon in that acute phase. So, you go to one of my favorites, which is my scapular press. Now, this position here, you want to be weight bearing over that wrist, all right? In that position, you want the elbow extended and rotated at the shoulder joint externally, okay? So not internally, externally like that. And in that position, what you've got to try and do is retract, body goes to the floor, keep your shoulder retracted all the way back, and then push through the ground push away like a normal shoulder press, like a normal scapular press, I should say. Now, a couple of things. Make sure, with, always with this exercise, that when you go to that position, you're not bent in the elbow because that's going to load you up. Plus, we're trying to keep that inner range lock there, so we're just focusing on the scapula. So we don't want the elbow to bend. It's going to load you up here. And we also want to make sure you're just working on one joint movement here. All right? So that's a really good one for you to start working on. You know, Keep your rep range up to about 12, three or four sets of that. So that would be your sort of acute phase and things to work on for the first week or two. Then you need to work on some eccentric tenon work. Now I suggest you go for concentric, sorry, closed chain, eccentric over 
open chain, which I'll show you last. Now, there's two ways of doing this, up against the wall and on maybe a sofa or bench top. The sofa or the bench top is going to be a lot harder because it's sort of more horizontal, so start off at the wall. When you do this one, what I want you to focus on is, again, doing the same movement like I did on the floor as far as the scapular retraction part, but you're doing it one arm. So if I'm going to train my left tricep here, I want that locked straight, that position there, and I want you to go retraction first. Get this hand ready, and then you go as far as you can with a bent elbow till you're just about to feel the pain. Back to there, push away. So you're only training on the downward phase or decline or eccentric phase. So the tendon, the reason we're doing that is the tendon gets a rest on the concentric. So we can go retract the scapula, elbow bend, there's the eccentric phase, rest on the concentric, okay? Get that one sussed first. Then you go to something lower. Now, this could just be a bench in the gym, all right? Or you could be a sofa at home or your bed or something like that. Just so it's a little bit lower than there, but obviously you don't want to flatten the floor because you're not going to be able to do a one-arm push-up. So with this one, you may find your range is not as good, but the load is more. So it's something to advance to. So you go, same drill, have this hand ready, retract, elbow bend, elbow bend, elbow bend. You might get caught of the way, put it back, push away again. Okay, so you try that again, lift up, retract the scapula, elbow bend and deflection to there, and push away. And you might be quite surprised at how much you can actually do on one arm and build up that strength before you go to the open chain. Now obviously, open chain, closed chain meaning that's fixed, your body's moving, okay? Open chain meaning your body's fixed, your hand's moving. So when you do open chain, I would, again, be kind, use a band rather than in the gym where traditionally you were doing tricep sort of push downs with a bar or a lap machine with a cable where you're just doing a fixed weight up and down against gravity. You want to be using a band because when you're up in this position, when you're in that, I'll show you here, when you're in that first position of being there, okay, the tendon is at its weakest and longest in that position, okay? So if the weight's hard at that position, it's gonna be hard for you here. So we have the band at its just a little bit of tension, so it's easy at that point, and obviously harder at that point when the tendon is shorter, and that's the reason why we're having bands, okay? So with that idea, what I want you to work on is again, eccentric phases, so I get a rest on the concentric. The rest is that movement, the training is that movement. So what I want you to do, now you can grab here or you can grab mid part of the band, whatever suits, but you take the load off that left arm by pulling down with the right. Get that arm fully straight, and if you watch me, get that rotated there. Let the band go, there's my tension there. And then what I've got to try and do is keep that shoulder in position, bend the elbow. So I'm working directly on eccentric, Elbow, extension, go again. So I'm moving in deflection. I'm doing eccentric extension, but I'm moving in deflection. So I'm training that tendon to do its job by holding. The triceps muscle was working and slowly letting go. And this is your sort of first phase concentric work to try and get that tendon better. So you can do pull downs and you can do presses. All right, so that'll be your, your go-to for that and work on. So once you've built all that up and you go heavy and heavy and heavy the bands, you then might go to the rope and just you know, have that rope over the tricep machine, pull down with two, let it go, and eventually then you're gonna go back to the bar and away you go, all right? And of course, back to presses. So that would be your order of strengthening. Another thing I want you to work on is some mobility through the tricep tendon because when you get the, um, through the muscle, when you get tricep tendon problems, the muscle gets really knotty and horrible. Now, I would probably not worry too much about stretching it. I would get on something like this and get into the back of that tricep tendon and try and find all the knots, maybe at the start of the tendon there, not necessarily on the sore part, don't, don't hammer the sore part, but go maybe to the top of that tendon and then work on your tricep muscle as well and work around all those grotty little bits of tightness in there to release that, because that'll make it feel a lot better when you're doing your exercise and help you push along 
with your strengthening. So try that little routine if you've got a tricep tendinopathy before you start just trying to rest and then go back to heavy weights. See you next time.